Well, as for the glass fire, it's been a difficult fire fight. Check out the latest numbers. The fire has burned now more than 60,000 acres. Flames have destroyed nearly 600 structures in Napa and Sonoma counties, and the fire is just 6% contained. We want to show you a map now of where the fire is burning. Some positive news late this afternoon several areas in Sonoma County are no longer under a mandatory evacuation order. They include some neighborhoods within the city limits of Santa Rosa. Those have been reduced to an evacuation warning. Meantime, firefighters dealing with extreme red flag weather conditions. The smoke has largely grounded the air attack. Jody Hernandez is live in Napa County where the firefighters can't seem to catch a break. They've had a really tough time. I tell you, this fire has already been so, so devastating. We're at the Eden Winery in St. Helena. Sadly, one of the many wineries and vineyards in the Napa Valley that have been destroyed in this fire, a fire that so far is nowhere near being contained. Right behind us, the whole hill was on fire. Don Van Laken describes just how close the glass fire got to the winery he co owns. It was a dicey night as flames threatened the 19th century structure. Lakin says he didn't sleep at all. The crew from San Jose, the fire crew, um, they were amazing. Uh, they just stayed here and took care of everything. Firefighters have been waging an uphill battle as they deal with red flag weather conditions, rugged terrain, and thick smoke. In fact, the smoke's gotten so bad it's been hindering the aerial attack. Due to smoke visibility and the density, it's very hard for them and they're not able to come in and assist. Some people have stuck by their properties. Jorge Fonseca says he used his makeshift firefighting rig to save the home he's a caretaker for. The neighbor have a house, but half of my, and I say the house for him too. At least 580 structures have been destroyed so far, including many wineries. With more hot and windy weather on tap, people remain extremely nervous. We got extremely lucky. It's not over yet. We still have some spot fires out back. And we're live here where you can see the grapes that are singed up here. We're on Spring Mountain Road in St. Helena. Again, sadly, many of the vineyards and several wineries up here have been destroyed. Now, we um, are at the Eden a winery again, a winery that has a great history out here. We understand that it was once uh, owned by the Behringers. They're the original owners. They once had their house out here on this very spot. So a lot of history out here, a sad sight to see, um, and unfortunately a very rough weekend ahead for these firefighters as they try to get a handle on this fire. Reporting live in St. Helena, I'm Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.